Hello everybody, so today we'll be doing a video review of this uh, new bow from Elon uh, called Meng Yuan and it's now 30 pounds compared to the original 18 pounds. Uh, so this video is intended for people who uh, is looking forward to buying this bow so that you can understand more of this product before actually placing your order. Now, before we go into the details, I want to point out something that has come to my attention. So, this is the original 18 pound Meng Yuan versus the new 30 pound Meng Yuan. So, there are some differences, but I'm not going to go into the details yet. Uh, the 18 pound is day and night difference when it comes to stability and weight. So, some sellers out there has been cheating their customer by saying that the 18 pound is 26, 28, 30 pound, whatever poundage they name it. Uh, I don't know why they do it, but please don't do that because when the customer pulls a 30 pound unit, they will know they are cheated because it's very different. This is really heavier than the 18 pound. So please, sellers, don't cheat your customers on this. So now we're going to do a comparison. The original 18 and the 30 pound is pretty much the same. It remains pretty much the same. Uh, only very small differences, mainly the string loop here. Okay, so the loop on the new one, the 30 pound, is longer and it helps to stabilize the bow. Uh, other than that, the bracelet is also different. The new one is one eighth of an inch shorter than the uh, original so this is seven one eighth of an inch while the original is seven uh, and a quarter okay other than that the bow is the same there is really no other difference uh, except for the drawing weight uh, the new one also comes with this new option black color but that's it that's all that's all the differences uh, it draws equally as smooth. You can see here, the draw is equally smooth. Of course, it's actually heavier than before. Okay. Um, as the poundage increase, the hand shock also increase. Of course, the speed also increase. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the speed, but in terms of hand shock, slight increase, it will be more than normal, well-built laminated bows such as AF, Alibo, Taurus, Jekyll, uh, yeah, most of the laminated bows. It's going to have more hand shock than those, okay? But it's better than the fiberglass bow, which are those that is a solid fiberglass with a wooden handle, wooden sear, and they wrap it with uh, those uh, leather. It will be better than those bows less hand shock than those, more than laminated. So it's kind of in between. Uh, for a bow of this price, 65 US dollars, very good looking, and good performance, uh, hand shock, speed, good. Stability is pretty good. Uh, the extra weight does improve the stability. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video. So I'm going to try to do some good shots here. poundage does improve both in speed and stability because the original 18 pound is uh, kind of squishy, it's very soft, so it can affect your shot. Uh, it was good, the original 18 pound is very good. Uh, it's just sometimes a bit squishy, your hand has to be very relaxed uh, because the bow is sensitive. The 30 pound is less sensitive, so for a $65 bow, it's great. 